Welcome to All Things Real Estate CRM. My name is Gary David Hall. Today I'm going to review unique and notable features in Top Producer. If I go to Find a CRM and Residential CRM, and I can either scroll down here to Top Producer or I have the same ones listed here with a little bit of a description and if we get all the way down the top producer and go to full details this is the top producer review page and again if we scroll down we'll see unique or notable features and that's what I'll be reviewing today but in video and today is part two and we'll be picking up with the follow-up coach follow-up coach really great love this part of it because we by and large are not real good at calling past clients or our sphere of influence period uh, especially with the advent of email uh, and I say advent because I started this in 87 but uh, since email came people tend to think that they can just pop people into email drip campaigns and that's all they need to do and that's a real bad idea you do need to call people on an ongoing basis and this provides a, a, a beautiful vehicle to do that the way it works is that initially when you bring your database in you're going to label them one thing you're going to label them is you're going to put them in the proper sales pipeline status another thing you're going to do is label them like buyer seller client in this case past client would be one that you would label them or possibly sphere of influence but you come in and say okay I want to be reminded to call my past clients every 100 180 days so I do that and then for one reason or another people are going to come up here but the, the whole point is that no one will be uncontacted will go without you calling them or contacting them in a, some significant way for more than however long you said so you have a past client here now what's different is this is not like a recurring activity a recurring activity you can put in and say it's just an activity that you say okay I want this activity which I'm going to call a phone call reminder to remind me every six months to call my past client Kim if I do that that works it's great it's what all the other CRM's are going to have you do thing is this is where recurring phone call reminders will appear so I come in in the morning and I see that I need to and it would say something like you know past client semi-annual follow-up call or something like that but I I look at this reminder and I say oh I guess it's been six months since I called Sue and then it was wait, 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 wait a minute I, I just called her maybe a couple two three weeks ago so now I have to click on Sue's name here which will take me to her contact record I'll then look in her notes and I'll see that I did just speak with her two weeks ago so I don't need to call her today so now I have to go in and change the recurring phone call reminder or just delete it or ignore it or whatever which is okay not a big deal but with the follow-up coach before it reminds you to call Kim it will actually go and look at the notes and look at uh, look for any other significant uh, contacts like if you had an appointment with her if that's the case and it was less than six months ago it's not going to remind you here it's going to remind you only after it's been six months since you had any significant contact with her so basically what that comes down to is that there will be no one that you designate as worthy of a call that will ever go more than that set time frame without reminding you to call them 
So now it's time to call Kim. I click on that. It gives me a brief synopsis of her record. She's a future lead, meaning she's down the road. So I call her, and right from here I can open the full contact record if I want to, if I don't remember who Kim is. Uh, but I do remember I call her. No great shakes, nothing exciting happening in the phone call, but anytime you speak with any contact, you always need to make uh, a note uh, of the conversation, get some keywords in there about what you spoke about in the conversation. So I would then come to wrap up, and I love it because it prompts you, add a note. Okay, so I add my note. Uh, if need be, I can schedule a follow-up, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to say save, and I get my my. Uh, warm fuzzy because I did what I was supposed to do today. I called Kim and now I can move on to the next one. If I have a lot of time and I run out of people to call, I can then say refresh list and get some more people to call. So this is one of my favorite features that doesn't really exist this way in any other CRMs. The only one that's close to it is contactually. And uh, actually, this came out, this concept in Top Producer came out after Contactually, so one has to wonder where they got the idea, but Contactually does it. Contactually is a great program, too. I have that as well. Uh, the thing to be aware of with Contactually is it is not specifically for real estate. It does not enable you to track property information or transactions or anything like that, so it is, it's very good at what it does, but it's very limited if you want to use it in real estate. Uh, but some people, that's all they want to do, which is why I have it available. Another unique feature Top Producer has is called Top Connector. And uh, it, up until the last, uh, somewhere between a year and two years ago, they charged a one-time fee of $149 for it. It is now included for free in the Top Producer 8i uh, CRM. And it does primarily two things. One is when I add a listing, rather than having to key all this information in and another screen, which I don't have to key in obviously, but uh, if I wanted that information in there, I'd have to key it in. Top producer with top connector, you just key in the MLS number, import MLS data, and you're good to go. It auto fills everything. If there's a corresponding field in the MLS and Top Producer, it will auto fill it. Also, Top Producer has a CMA function, so you can do a, a complete CMA with comps and everything. And Top Connector enables the automated import of comps for the CMA function as well. You've been watching all things real estate CRM. My name is Gary David Hall. My site is GaryDavidHall.com. Please take advantage of the almost 100 pages of content about virtually nothing except real estate CRM. And by all means, if you need help selecting a CRM, that is what I do. Thank you.